Hey everyone, may the fourth be with you, or should we say, happy Revenge of the Sith Day. Anyway, it's May the 5th, not May the 4th. And this is the second part of my photo bashing tutorial of the Bad Batch live action posters. If you haven't seen the first part, go check it out. I have the card up here somewhere. A quick info what Bad Batch is. So, Clone Force 99, or better called Bad Batch, is a defected Clone Force of five characters originally, being the big guy Wrecker, Hunter as their leader, Tech, the nerdy kind of guy that knows all about technology, Echo that becomes a part of the group later on, and Omega, their little sister who actually is their big sister. And then there's Crosshair, who is also part of this crew first, but after that he turns against them and keeps on telling this quote, good soldiers follow orders. Now that's part of this poster also. Anyway, in this tutorial we will go through how I photo bash characters. This works also with any other characters really, but in this one I am gonna make some stock footage that is not real looking more real and also bash together characters from scratch and showing you guys the techniques how I do this. If you like this kind of content please hit that thumbs up and watch the video to the end it helps me a lot and if you are new to the channel please subscribe and ring that bell for notifications of future videos. I try to make these at least one every week. Anyway, enough of that, let's begin part number two. Okay, so next up we're gonna bash together some characters and we're gonna start with Hunter, one of the clone warriors in Bad Batch. So this is a PNG that I made uh, taking a photograph of the hot toy version of Hunter. Now I want this to look live action so we're gonna start off by taking away his helmet. So I'm gonna just mask off his helmet fill it with black like that and then we have this picture of his face and it's quite good resemblance to how he looks so one thing we need to change in this is his hair right and usually i would go through the world wide web and search for a person that has a red bandana and long dark hair but now i couldn't really find any so instead we're gonna use this photo manipulation officials hair stock bundle. They have bundle that is full of these PNG hair pieces that we are gonna use. And I'm first gonna fetch something that I can use as the back hair, something like this. And I, I have an affiliate link to photo manipulation uh, in the description. So use that link in the description to help this channel out but also find incredible stock through their shop right now he looks very feminine but we're making it better just you see the main thing with this edit now is to get all of the plastic parts hidden the color of the hair right now does not matter and then I have this bandana that I'm gonna add over these. You can first put this in a group and hide that layer totally and use this bandana. Now this is a 3D asset from Envato again and, and I also have an affiliate link to Envato in the description for you guys. So what we're gonna do now is mask off the parts of this stock that we do not want and that's basically the backside 
So we're gonna use a hard round brush and take away what we don't need. So now we have the bandana and then we're adding the hair and just gonna mask out every single one. And let's bring back where we want it. So behind his hair. Now using a soft brush uh, the edges of the hair makes it more natural because small strands of hair makes it look like it's like transparent. I'm using a soft brush when I'm in the edges and a hard brush when I'm in the middle. Now I'm using a hair stock and I'm masking out but it still doesn't look natural. It, it looks like it's something that is added over here, right? So what you can do now is use a hair brush that is meant to originally you paint hair with it. We are gonna use it as a mask tool instead. Doing so we also get the mask to look more like its hair and also more real. After this we have the shadows making it more realistic. Okay so now when I'm done with Hunter's uh, face, wait he has this skull over here. So I'm gonna paint the skull just with normal flat angled brush. Now I'm gonna make all the hair black because Hunter's hair was supposed to be black. And that we're doing with the hue layer first. Saturation down to zero to minus 100 and also lightness, a little away from the lightness. And that's how we make it black. And then I'm, oh yeah. And then I'm just gonna copy this U layer to the layer above also. So that all of the hair is the same color, like that. Now when we have Hunter's face done, we're gonna make this also a convert it to a smart object and copy it. So next up we jump to back to him and uh, paste the face and realize that it's the wrong way. Now. I do want this face the other way around, so we're gonna try one thing and that's copying this layer and flipping it around and try to match the place where his head is supposed to be. So that's the eyes, right? Okay, next up I'm gonna copy this layer and make it a smart object and take this part from him. And Copy that, and then hide that layer and use this selection and go to select and modify and expand with two pixels. And then we're gonna fill this with black and add his arm back. Move this over here and move the arm a little up like so. And then I'm gonna mask with a round brush so that we get it to blend together like so. Then I have this helmet that is made from 3D printing and it looks more realistic than the one that we masked off for you some minutes ago. So what I'm using now is this object selection tool. We press that and then we go up here and use cloud details and select subject. And underneath his arm but above his torso, we're gonna check that the helmet is the right size. That's I think good. And then I'm gonna add it so he's like holding it. Then I'm just gonna change this color of this ora orange hue is wrong and that we do with a curves layer. Then I'm gonna add hue and saturation layer where I bring the hue down. Not totally but almost. I'm gonna change the color to some kind of bluish hue like so and hide that layer and then bring it back where we have the orange hue. And that's the first bash, a pretty easy bash. And 
We will continue the last part of this bash tutorial when I make Omega because she is the most difficult of these clones to make. Anyway, let's get back to the time lapse. I also use in these photo bashings the new tool that you see can use in the Photoshop CC at least the 20, 2023 version and that's the neural filters to make them have some other characteristics for example being if you're angry you're, you can make them happy and so on and I use them in a way that I copy the layer and then mask it off and bring back the mask on the area that I want to show. Okay guys, so now we're, when we're done with the brothers of the Bad Batch, at least this lower part of them, uh, it's time to make Omega and she will be the main part of this tutorial because it will be very difficult to make her. We have this reference picture of her and this is the version that I want to make. She needs to have these clothings pretty much and I found these, these clothings that are made for cosplay and I took a side view also of it and a back view just to be sure. Now we need a model that is an archer and a female. So I have these three and she's small so that's good because Omega isn't that big either and I think this first one could be a good fit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make these selections off camera but be right back okay now i thought that her face looks a little like omega i would say the only thing is that she has dark hair so we need to make her hair blonde and we're gonna do that with the hair bundle from photo manipulation site and i have a link down below in the description for a affiliate link to them where you can get this bundle and many more so we we have this reference picture right here and let's put it these side by side so and she has this kind of blonde short hair i would use this particular one and just make it even blonder when we are done and first we're gonna fix this hair on her head So next up I'm gonna use, I'm gonna add a cap for her, the reference, this cap. I found this that looks pretty much alike. Okay, so we're gonna use this cap that is from the front, like this. And then just gonna fit it on her head and I'm gonna warp it to match. So next up I'm gonna copy this again and this time I'm gonna add it underneath her and make it fit with the rest of the character. So I'm gonna warp it again. Okay, so next up I will separate these, uh, this stock image to be several stock images. What I did was I had this side Omega picture here and I made these selections over here. This one, so I took the whole thing from from the clothing, the mannequin, and but I left one leg, and then the other part is the other leg plus this satchel, and I added these above, and then I just warped them so they fit with her body. Now next up, I need uh, a sleeve, and it needs to be from the back, so. 
One important thing when photo bashing is to have, especially when you use 2D assets, that you do have like the same asset from various angles. So I have, for example, now this clothing, same clothing picture. Now, the, if we don't count the color values because they are a little different in, in these, depending on how it was taken with the camera. However, uh, the stock is the same and I have them from, from the back, from the side and from the front. And those three are like each three dimensions, like X, Y and Z axis. And this is how I am gonna build up with these copying uh, parts of these images to make this whole costume. To, to check that everything is okay, we're gonna do this right away. So, I copied the layer that I use as a model, as the base model. And now we're gonna pick out the parts of her that we know that are in front of everything. So, her arms. So now I have her arms above this. And we can check that it looks somewhat right. Okay. Okay, so for the right arm, uh, it's gonna be a little tricky, but we, I think we're gonna use this side view arm. And I'm gonna take a little more of the shoulder also with me and try make this sleeve so it looks like it's facing forward. Now I will voice over a little bit here because this particular part I struggled pretty much. It took me quite some much trial and error to get this done. A second way to do this if you have difficulties using the stock image that you have to use as an option, you can also use the pen tool to make a custom shape and then add textures to that shape that are a lot like the stock picture that you have. Uh, why I'm saying this is because I got it eventually but pixels got pretty spread out and it could look better if you just hand paint or use textures and a custom shape. Anyway back to the time lapse. Let's fix this string part. So what we're gonna use next is the healing brush and we're gonna do this next. So we're copying this layer. Use, using the pen tool, I'm gonna mark her face and make the selection. And then by holding control and pressing J, we're copying her face. And now on that layer, I am gonna use, also try spot healing tool. Then I'm gonna mask this away and bring back the mask uh, just where the string was. This way we don't change that much those pixels around. Okay, so now her small feet looks adorable, right? But they are still wrong, so I have these boots that I had found on Envato Elements. We're gonna use these, they look pretty much alike. I'm gonna use these boots to make her feet. Okay, so pretty long, far gone with this one. There's a bow left and we take this and use it as the bow. I think the size of it is pretty good. However, I want to make this part a little smaller. So what we're gonna do now is just clip this part away. So I'm using this lasso tool. With Ctrl J, I'm gonna copy this. Then I'm also gonna Ctrl and left click and go to select, modify, expand with one pixel like so and add the layer mask and then we're gonna bring we're gonna invert the layer mask like this so now i have these two parts separate uh, next up what we're gonna do is uh, take away this bow okay 
Okay, so now the only thing I need to do to make it look uh, good is all the lights and shadows, of course, and making textures and such. But as for the bashing and this tutorial, this is how I photo bash this sp uh, specific Omega character was no easy task to make and so the main part let's go through the basics when photo bashing make sure to use preferably uh, 3d assets but if it's not 3d assets then try to find the 2d assets from three different directions uh, back front and side angle or even top angle could be good using soft brushes when blending together those pictures and using hard brushes when making edges and so on of course make sure that they are high res all the pictures that you use and uh, yeah so this is basically how i make characters when i photo bash and you saw the easier way with the with the bad batch characters hunter and so on and this is the more difficult way with uh, omega so i hope this helped you this tutorial is a more advanced maybe than the normal ones still i hope you learned something and I'm Double Art Angel, I will continue making this artwork in a time lapse. There's not gonna be any other kind of bash techniques. And, uh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. for an important message. This tutorial is not over yet. No, 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 not by a long shot. Or short shot. Go check the second part. And do get to know how this dude is photo bashing. Not just characters, but anything. For the Empire. Bye.